Hi there, it's Robin from ZSA. In our newest Oryx update, we changed macros to allow you to add up to 24 steps plus a few extra features, and I thought I would do a quick demo just showing uh, that new process and new UI. So if we click on a key, go to tapped, and go to macro, we can start creating a macro very similarly to how it used to work. So we'll do M. And I want this M to be capital, so don't forget to include the shift modifier. And then now the UI will start to look a little bit different. You'll see this uh, then wait 100 milliseconds. So 100 milliseconds is the standard delay between each macro step. That will be the most consistent in making sure that macros work across a variety of hardware and apps. But if you want your macros to send a little bit faster, you can change this delay. So I think 50 milliseconds tends to work pretty well across most scenarios. It's a little bit faster while still being pretty re reliable. Um, you can try lower terms, uh, such as 25 milliseconds. You can even do zero seconds, it, zero milliseconds, it will work. The only thing with zero milliseconds or very short delays is that some hardware and some apps won't pick up um, such short delays between steps, the, the steps will come through too quickly for the host to handle. So experiment, um, you can try lower delays, but I think 50 milliseconds is a good starting point if you want your macro to be reliable, but just a little bit faster. Um, so we'll continue with more steps and we'll add an A. And you'll notice the delay I set previously is now inherited by the next step, and this will always inherit the previous delay you set, so you don't have to manually set this for every step, it will just uh, continue. And C, R, O. So you can see this is where the UI also looks a little bit different. With our old UI, uh, this where this is where it would have stopped. I've got five steps, and that was the limit before. With the new UI, I can continue to add steps. So I'm going to add an S. And if you are not signed in to Oryx, you will have to stop at five steps. We only allow you to create five-step macros if you're not signed in. If you are signed in, you when you start to add your sixth step to a macro, there will be a warning that pops up that asks you to understand, acknowledge, and accept that warning, talking about uh, do not store sensitive information in macros. And I've already accepted that, and I am signed in, but I still have this warning. We display this warning across all macros just because it's so important. Uh, macros in Oryx are not encrypted or hidden in any meaningful way, even if you private your layout. They are easy to access and plainly readable, so it's very, very important to not store anything you would not like other people to see in macros. Uh, passwords, credit card numbers, social security numbers, these are all really, really important to not store in Oryx macros, and ideally really not store in macros at all. We would highly recommend something like a dedicated password manager if you want to store that sort of information. Um, but we will continue, so macros, add another step, and I want this to be an exclamation point, and you won't see shifted characters in macros for uh, somewhat complicated reasons. We have a whole article about this down here, missing macro characters, but in short, you'll just need to assign the base character, which for me is one, and then add the modifier that creates it, so shift plus one normally gives me an exclamation point, and it will also do that in macros as long as I set it up that way. So you can see I have a longer macro, M-A-C-R-O-S, exclamation point, macros. Uh, the delays have all been inherited. If I need to move steps around, I can do that with these arrows. So you see now it's uh, M-A-C-R-S-O. Of course, I don't want that, so I'll move it back. And we can click off that, and it's saved. If I want to label this, I can. And so I know that's what it does. Of course, this is probably not a particularly useful macro to most people, but just a little quick demo to show you the idea of the new UI. So that's the new macro UI. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day.